I still with this uh, portrait I shot, and uh, I shot it with a 105 2.8, shot quite wide open just to get the eyes and a bit of uh, skin texture detail. Um, one of the things I noticed after shooting was that the lips were quite cracked and dry. Uh, and there's a couple of methods I want to take you through to uh, repair uh, any cracking, that kind of things. Um, we need to get a bit tighter on this, so it's uh, Control plus plus Command plus plus, and just take it in a bit tighter on there. You can see that. Uh, all the hairs and all the detail but those little dark lines and that cracking on the lips below um, I could copy the background layer what I want to do on this one is um, just to put a new layer over the top there you could rename it as retouching uh, we're going to the spot healing brush uh, I'm going to have it as content aware so little radio buttons there it's in normal blend mode and I'm going to sample all layers so sampling all layers in CS6 I mean through uh, this uh, Lay at the top here, which I'm going to now change to light and blend mode. We're going to paint through that uh, empty layer and sample underneath, but painting, leaving the uh, resultant mix on the empty layer. So just painting these dark cracks out. And you can see one of the benefits of doing this way is we're retaining all the uh, skin data detail around it and the texture. We're not wiping that out, we're just darkening, uh, taking the dark bits of the lips out. Let's go where it's cracked down here, and you can see uh, when you paint this way, which is in the uh, light and uh, uh, blend mode on this layer, there isn't a little dark masking that comes around the spot healing brush. Uh, it just looks like we're painting with a paintbrush underneath. Sometimes you can see the sampling coming through from underneath, uh, and just working, working, working those lips. Okay, we've gone for hours. That's before and after. So we retain the, the texture, but we've got rid of some of that dark cracking. Uh, and of course you can spend more time on this and paint away like I'm doing now. But nothing as boring as seeing somebody on the internet painting in Photoshop, I've found. Uh, so I'll do some more. <laughs> That'll really bore you. Um, so yeah, working with that layer uh, in line blend mode, sampling all layers with the spot tinting brush. I'm going to call up another layer now. I do it slightly differently this, this time. Uh, uh, Let's uh, just take that one off there. We're going to the spot heating brush again, sampling all layers. I'm going to keep the blend mode of the layer to normal, and I'm going to uh, change the spot healing brush to lighten. And you can see this time when we paint, you get that masking uh, area that comes up. Uh, the effects really are the same. So uh, you actually do this in a couple of, couple of different ways. If you want to see this masking area, see where you've painted, come up. You can make a smaller brush, of course and uh, do this work finer on the lips and just paint away and paint out uh, those dark things. Let Photoshop do the work, do its resampling and uh, repair that those cracked and dehydrated lips. Paint a big area, cover that in. And you can see by working on this uh, we've uh, cleaned up and tidied up um, but retain some of the skin texture detail. Most important, we don't want people to look plasticky. Well, you might do, but I don't. Uh, let's have a look at these again. Uh, that's our first one. That's what we did it with the uh, light and uh, layer blend mode. And uh, that looks quite good. And this one we did with the normal blend mode, but with the brush, uh, the spot healing brush in light. And. So you can do it both ways around. So that's light mode. We've got other blend modes in there which we can use for other kinds of skin repair. We might come back in in a minute and just do a different tutorial. You can see there that we've retained texture in the uh, lips and uh, a bit of the integrity in there. Um, what you can do as well, of course, is to fine tune as you're going along. So don't forget, you've also got your opacity if you want to just bring some of that back in again. You don't want to make it look too bland. Uh, just work on the opacity and uh, bring it back in again. Let's just highlight that layer and just uh, work on that one as well. And you can work the opacity of that one as well. So, um, two methods there, both very similar. Uh, blend modes, spot healing brush, and repairing crack lips. Okay, that's been me. Uh, until the next time, bye for now.